One of the key pieces to our district success is moving our systems work from implementation to impact. Our six systems are a way to get us all on the same page with consistent instructional processes that will create better outcomes for students. The core of the systems are what we all must do and practices we must put in place at every school. These are our non-negotiables that I believe will lead to sustained achievement. It's like the factory settings on your phone. The phone comes with apps. These are the basics, but you can add your ringtones and other settings to meet your needs. We are empowering you to come up with the best process to enhance the non-negotiables and best serve your students. This is your starting point. We want you to customize the six systems for your school. We look forward to seeing what you develop over the next year. The system supports our efforts around our key pillars, racial equity, culture climate, and backpack of success skills. By using these systems with fidelity, we are fortifying the three pillars. The systems aren't additional add-on things we're asking you to do. This is part of the work you're already doing and strengthens the systems you already have in place. When the systems are effectively implemented, it will become a part of your day-to-day -day work. If this is done to capacity, our organization will grow stronger, more cohesive, and we will see the difference. You can make this happen. It is critical for leaders to have a system for teachers to use the district curriculum frameworks to identify essential standards. A process has to be in place to deconstruct the standards in order to determine appropriate learning targets. The PLC process is key so teachers work collaboratively to plan units and lessons and have clarity in daily short and long range planning. Here's Wheeler Elementary Principal Penny Espinosa to share how her school was able to effectively implement System 1. System 1 is really about, about a big picture and then also about the very detail oriented scientific work that goes into um, a successful uh, learning experience for kids. And uh, the big picture is really about the fundamental purpose of our school and we function to ensure that all students learn at high levels. That's our fundamental purpose. So that's the big picture. Our professional learning community is that big picture. And then our professional learning community is made up of high performing collaborative teams. And that's where the very detail oriented work happens. Our collaborative teams being in elementary school are uh, pretty much grade level teams. Uh, we do have some departmentalization, so some of our grade level teams are divided by content. But this is where the work of uh, digging into the standards, identifying the essential standards. We use a solution tree protocol to identify the essential standards. The team is committed to that overall fundamental purpose of ensuring all kids learn at high levels. And what that means for them is ensuring that all students master essential standards. Once the essential standards are determined, teams work to deconstruct those standards into a progression of learning targets. And uh, they work with students to analyze where they are on that progression to mastery of the essential standards and, um, and design the instruction based on where the students are. We use uh, some pre-assessment data, uh, that, some assessments that we create, and we also use some of the data that we receive uh, from MAP to determine where students are on the progression to mastering the essential standards.